that then he was introducing something for me to join him, then I refused. So it's like after I refused, then things they began to go somehow in my ministry. So I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. Is there, there was another pastor. He came to, to, to my church. He was my friend at first, and I, I didn't know that he has changed. So it's like after the service, then he, he was uh, introducing some of the things to me so that I can join him. After that, then I refused. So it's like since that day, it's like things, they haven't been going well in my ministry. Well, what is it that he was introducing to you? In him, the way he was saying, he was saying that if... Uh, it's like there's something that I want to give you that it will begin to put clouds and uh, your life and your ministry again will change. You should see me as my example. After that, then I refused. So after that, then it's like things... My brother, you're still saying some things. I said, what is it that he was introducing to you? He did not much cross it, but it's like the no, way... He mentioned some things, you must say that. He just said, I want to give you something. So I was asking him then, he was saying, no, you are big enough and uh, you know what I mean. So it's like since I refused then, he said, no, I will call you in the evening so that you have to understand and you have to come out of this life that you are having now because it will change your life. After that, then I refused. So it's like since that day, it's like things they didn't go well in my ministry. Everything fell down. Everything fell down. So why did you call him say that he must give you those things? I was afraid uh, it's because what came to me it was what shall a man gain, or what shall a man profit if he gains the whole world and loses own soul? So that was the main thing that I refused. So I've been trying to come here to meet you. But the thing is, for uh, it's like for me to have the chance to see you, so that I can be under you in everything, and I have to follow in everything. But the thing is, I didn't have time. Please, let's not talk about falling. The person wants to give you some things. You say you'll be rich, so that you come out from this. You deny. Did you deny that? Yes, I denied that. I don't want. Did you that. tell him that you don't want those things? Sorry? Did you tell him you don't want those things? Yes, I told him. It's because I was asking him, what is it that you want to give no, me? No, listen. Did you tell him that the things you say you want to give me so that I'll be successful, I don't want them? Did you tell him? I didn't tell him. I was just asking him, what is it that you want to give me? He said something, then it's like I gave him a space that... I didn't even want it All right. to go back Did to you. Did you tell him that the things you want to give me, I don't want that? Did you? No, I didn't. I just gave him space. Yeah, listen to this. That is why you are under attack. Because if someone says you give you things, and you realize these things now are contrary to what you believe in, same time you say, I don't want these things. But if you keep quiet, you will make sure you search for him. That's what is happening now. That's why you see everything is going down. So that you must search for him. Are you hearing me? Eh? Yeah. I'll pray for you. Uh, I'll pray for you. We need only Holy Spirit. And we have the word of God. Are you hearing me? Uh, uh, so issues of getting other things to prosper by other things. No, you don't need that. You are supposed to have dinner. I don't want things. I have Jesus. I don't want things. If someone come and say, come here, come here, I want to show you something. You can use this, say, hey, in the name of Jesus. I don't use these things you are giving me. I don't want that. Sometimes you don't need even to see that. The moment when a person tells you that, already when you are keeping quiet, you are under his control. And now, Satan will hit everything so that you seek him. From now you say, okay, I know, um, look at my life. They give you things now. And from there, it's tough. But God is going to help you, eh? Amen. God is going to help you. And you people, you must know that Satan will always search for those that God has called. You must always know that.
And where is your wife? She's home. So even your wife is under attack. Everybody is under attack now. You understand? But today you are free. You are free in Jesus' name. So the issue of you want to be under me, let's suspend it. You start to be free first. You understand? Eh? Yes. You start to be free. That person will come again now and say, hey, what about those things? Hey, I belong to Jesus. Amen. I don't want those things. Because you, you are still having power to, to face that person. You're at the same level now. The person is still going to access you. Is he having your phone? My phone number. Is he having a phone number? Phone. Yeah. Eh? He has my phone number. He was even coming here the other time, but he, he stopped coming here. He stopped coming here? Yeah. So he's successful now? He's successful. It's even hard for people to know that he's using those things because he can prophesy, he can do things. Please, let's not talk about that. But what is important is you must be careful. If he calls you, tell him that I don't believe in these things. I believe in Jesus. Amen. That's all.